Hi there, and thanks for joining me. I'm Neil Selvage, and I'm going to be taking you on a journey today through um, careers within careers within construction. So um, my experience is from my work with CITB as a construction ambassador. I do a lot of visits to schools where I talk to year 11s predominantly, um, and those are about to leave the schools to try and offer so solutions to career paths and what's available out there. So I'm going to take you through the journey that I've done today um, in my career and show you some of the careers within the careers. So just a little brief history about myself. I left school 15 years old, became a carpenter and joiner, got an apprenticeship. Um, wasn't particularly brilliant at school. I didn't leave with good qualifications. Um, kind of struggled a little bit at school, to be honest. But um, when I found my apprenticeship, I was put on a path there, which was more appropriate. So some of the maths, some of the sciences that I learned at school were much better for me when I got to the um, into the workshops at college. And also I was in a workplace environment as well. And I was also earning a bit of money, which was nice. Um, and through my apprenticeship, I did four years. I got the opportunity afterwards to, to actually travel and um, job opportunities arose because of my skills to go and work in East Africa. And not only was I doing carpentry, but my potential was noted and I was pushed up the ladder to do more project management work. So that held more responsibilities and really gained a lot from that. So that was four years of, of doing project management work, um, plus also doing a bit of carpentry at the same time, but really enjoyed it. Different cultures, different environments, um, different languages, different people, very different. And uh, I, I don't regret a minute of going abroad to work. But then all good things come to an end, came back to UK and I had to get into another work role or go back to my carpentry and joinery. Well, actually, through connections I'd built over the years, so we're looking at about 10 years into my career now, um, I started speaking to people and the opportunities arose in, in quite a new sector, which is the geomembrane sector. Now, this is going to be something that isn't taught at colleges or you won't find application forms um, to, to start a, a course at college for this. But I, through a company and through a connection, um, started doing landfill lining. So this is our big landfill sites where all our domestic rubbish goes, putting liners in the ground and making making the environment safe. It's a big issue now that our environment needs to be protected. And the houses that we build on or the houses that are built now, some of the sites that they're built on are, you know, contaminated or dirty sites. So I got involved more with that. But over the years, I've been doing that now for quite a number of years. Um, my skills and my knowledge grew even further. And I'm now um, a self-employed training consultant, so I run my own company. Um, and I'm a specialist assessor, again, for CITB. So the Construction Industry Training Board is a, is a good sounding board for finding out more information about careers and opportunities. And I'll, lead, um, I'll, I'll put some leads down later on for that as we go through. So we've got some objectives out there today. I'm just going to squidge myself up in the screen a little bit more there because I'm just in the way. So um, as you can see, hopefully I can give an insight into the variety of jobs that construction has to offer. It's not all about being, a, you know, on a site, wielding tools and, you know, mud, rain. There's some more, you know, office based jobs, um, more financially or, or numerical number driven jobs out there. Engineers, architects, surveyors, geologists. And in a moment, I've uh, got a video clip to show you some of them roles. Also want to demonstrate the benefits as your career goes. Like you can see with my career, it's it's gone from, you know, just the apprentice to now owning and running a business. And I think the video in a moment will highlight that as well with the, the people that are in the clips and the achievements that you can make. So, you know, it's, it's rewarding to come out of it and look at, back at some of the projects. And I'm going to show you some examples of projects that I've worked on over the years and hopefully direct you in the right places to continue your searches. So all being well, this little video clip here will give you an insight into some of those roles and opportunities.
where they're there um when i run these in school um visits we do, we tend to have a bit of a quiz to see how many we can count up and i think we've had numbers from 25 to 35 in there but um a lot of examples of different occupations and skills that are in there so um you know hopefully that opens opened your eyes to some other opportunities that are there so the thing that i always like to look at is what i enjoy about my work it's important that we you know you go to work and you enjoy yourself it's you know you spend a lot of time at work well what I enjoy is I get all over the all over the country. Um, I must have worked from the furthest point north to the furthest point south. I think um, it really varied and meeting people in those different environments. But also, you know, we've got uh, here's an example of the geomembrane sector. So this is where I I work now. A lot of lining work. Now you might look at that as a very frosty morning. Um, low sun early starts if you like early starts and you want to be on building sites you've got the perfect combination there but um in these particular jobs this is for water treatment works so everything everybody relies on their water we need it um coming through our taps we need to dispose of it correctly so this was a water treatment plant a big storage um reservoir for sewage and the byproducts of sewage but you know big lining job really rewarding and there's a lot of these in the country that, that needed to be lined and, and worked on to this day so that's an insight of some of the work that i've done other projects it's traveling to different places and possibly getting behind the doors of places you wouldn't normally uh, get to so i'll just move my little cursor you know working in different places so as we see see there that is again another water treatment plant but that site you would never ever see any of the lining work the gray material that's going in there that's going to be uh, buried under concrete and but it forms quite a critical part of the building there for the safety of the building because this is a, a contaminated site and they didn't want any of the contaminants coming into the to the water treatment processes We've also got histor historical places as well. So here we can see um, this building was actually being converted into a hotel and a resort a kind of luxury spa facility, but they were doing an annex to it. Again, there was certain works needed doing. So I was on site doing some assessment at this point. So this is me working alongside one of my MVQ learners and we were just discussing some of the work that was going on. But again, it's enjoyable to see people develop their skills and this particular um, learner is now a, a project manager for that company and uh, sits in quite a senior position so again the growth and the opportunities are there now this is quite an interesting shot the first one that popped up there because those of you that remember the 2012 olympics um, that is the actual baseliner for the olympic slalom course so where they did the canoeing um, which is just north of london um, the 
the whole arena had to be built and lined. And I was involved in the team that put all that lining, that geo geomembrane down. So you'll never see that shot again unless they drain the <laughs> the the, res the water from the the um, the reservoir there. But that's what it looks like underneath. And as we were working and joining the sheets together. Likewise, on the right, there's a picture there of those that are in the London area will recognise the Emirates Skyway, which goes across the River Thames. I was actually doing some work on the um, terminal stations on the South Bank, so working next door to the Millennium Dome. And you can see there, you know, the, it's just interesting places to get to and good good things to see, you know, you, while you're out and about. Plus, you know, you spend a bit of time away from home. Travel opportunity is great in the building game. You, you can get everywhere. Yeah. And people. People are really important. As I say, I worked in Africa for a number of years and, you know, traveling around the world, traveling around the country, meeting people, talking to them, sharing experiences. You'll learn a lot from people as well. So regional variations in how work's done will be noted and you might learn skills from other people that you wouldn't normally learn. So that's been quite valuable to me during my, my career. Now the rewards of the job, now this this site here you can see, it looks a bit of a mud pit and one of my colleagues there, um, we were actually doing some lining work there. You can see the big blue tank in the background is for holding uh, petroleum, petrol, that's eventually gonna be pumped on or um, put into a tanker and taken to a petrol station. Um, but the, the, the whole site there needed to be cleaned. It was actually being dismantled. They'd finished using it. And um, all the ground there that you can see was, uh, you know, a bit dirty, not, not the best of grounds, but you're working away, hard work. And then at the end of the day, you see the site when it looks like this. It's quite rewarding to go back and do the final checks and inspection. You didn't really need your wellies on at the final point, but to see that and knowing that it's all safe and clean and fit for purpose, it's, it's a real reward of the job. And here's another job that some of you might recognize, and I mentioned it earlier on the Millennium Dome. This was one of my um, earlier jobs that I did. So this was in uh, about 1997 when the uh, groundworks were being done on this, because obviously it had to be ready for the year 2000. Um, but every time I go into London now or I travel um, down the River Thames, it's quite enjoyable to think that you've had part involvement in such a, a project like that. It's a very iconic building. And 21 years further on, it's still there fit for purpose and um, people are enjoying and making use of the building. So other examples are a bit more closer to home. I live in the West Midlands, I'm near Birmingham, and this was just a small little job where some former industrial site that was heavily polluted from metal processes was actually turned into quite a nice little Premier Inn, and that was the, the dining room in the same area once it was all completed. So I never get the luxury of going back to the buildings, only if I go as a customer or a visitor. Um, as you can see, early, early stages, when we're there, it never looks completed or tidy, but actually visiting afterwards and seeing that, that that's how the, the dining room in that hotel looks is quite rewarding. So, the biggest, it's really to inspire the future generations that building is a great occupation. I've worked in it for over 30 years now and I don't regret my decisions from leaving school. Yes, we all have good days, we all have bad days. Um, Build UK have got some information on their website. They represent a lot of the large main contractors um, with their trade associations. So through their links, you will be able to find information. If there's something specific that you'd like to look at, like the geomembrane sector, which I'm involved in, there is the British Geomembrane Association, but you could be interested in climbing, for example. So the safety net rigging uh, group are there. Um, you might like to, or again, if you like climbing up towers, you might want to get involved in lightning conductor work. Um, the, the list is endless, so have a look at that. And I've put a picture up there, that's my young son when he was about three years old. And, you know, you try and encourage the youngsters. Yes, when they're all young, everybody likes uh, things like Bob the Builder and you're watching uh, DIY SOS and all the, the, the builders going through a house. Um, but he's grown a bit older now, he's nearly 10 now. And 
reality's checking in and he's starting to think, well, can I do some of this? So given the opportunity here, you can see my son actually having a go at doing some of the plastic welding that I do. But I've just popped up there a couple of links. Um, again, Build UK are there, CITB, worth visiting their website. They've got uh, inf information there on different training opportunities, apprenticeship schemes, um, really, good, really valuable resources. And also the Go Construct website, which is again supported through CITB. Um, there's some checkers on there you could possibly find a career for yourself things that you like doing so that facility um, follows you on a pathway to eventually hopefully um, a role that would suit you and um, you know you might think well that's where I need to go you might have to gain a few more qualifications in some of the roles if they're more um, specialized say if you want to get into structural engineering or um, being CAD technicians, for example, which is the um, computer-aided design systems. Obviously, having a good computer background is going to help you in those roles. But like I said, when I left school, I wasn't particularly good at maths or sciences. But if the apprenticeship route will support you when you're at college to develop the, the, the maths and the, the sciences you need to do your job and that are appropriate. So I'm going to say thanks for watching. Um, and if anybody wants to contact me, there's my details there. Um, I've always take calls or take emails. I've got a website there for the training that we offer in the gas protection sector. So really appreciate you taking the time out today to have a listen, have a watch. And hopefully you'll find that career that suits you and the right path for you. So good luck with the future and thanks for watching.